All right, in this video, I want to show a setup that I have come up with that I haven't seen any videos about on pretty much any social media, especially YouTube. And I had somebody reach out to me about doing this in a home. And I figured I'll make a video of how it gets done. And that is getting internet into a home where there's no internet wires been ran in the home and say it's a two-story house and they want internet as a wisp company you want to put internet in their home and they want internet but they want their router on the second floor because that's where the master bedroom and the kids room and all and that's where they want to watch their TV so this is how you can actually get it there if there's one thing already in the house and that is coax cable if it's already ran in the house and most of them are even back in the 70s and 80s coax cable was ran in homes this is how you get internet from the outside into the home by using the existing coax wire that's already installed in the home. What we have here is a good old box. And this is just a demonstration, not actually showing how to mount it and all that, but you can mount this box actually on the side of the house. Description below will have a link to this box, or you can buy any box actually, as long as all the equipment actually fits in the box. And what we have in the box is we have of course with poe which will go out and feed the cpe which i have laying on the ground over here picking up from the tower that's here and then it will be coming out of the poe and going into a network over the coax mocha is actually the technology that it uses and then on the other end of that device, the, the internet comes out of your PoE, goes into the device here. Then on the other end, you have coax coming out of the box. You have your power supply, however you want to get power in here. You can get some uh, drop cord cable that don't have any ends on it, just you can buy a roll. And buy ends for it so you can actually put an end in here but you're going to need more than one plug so these little one foot power cord uh, power strips work very well and I can take this and put it inside and be able to um, put it in on the drop cord wire and all will fit in here I have plenty of room down in here to be able to put this and this is a very deep box small but it's a deep box for everything to fit this over here is the power supply for the inverter, the Mocha inverter from Ethernet to coax. But that's all it takes to have in the box. Your P, uh, CPE will come in, go to the PoE, out of PoE into the Mocha inverter to coax, out to coax, and then you take the coax and screw it into the structure, home, RV, business, apartments, condos, whatever it may be that has coax already in the structure itself. And it has the termination on the outside of the structure or in a room, in a hotel or whatever it may be, maybe have like a server room and they have all the coax coming in you just find the right one that goes to the right room that you're actually trying to get internet to this one i'm just going to 
send internet from a CPE. It can be on a pole, on a uh, say an RV. You have a power pole there. Some of them are made out of wood and some of them are made out of metal, but you can put a 4x4 four four or 2x4 or whatever there to mount this box, or you can mount this box actually on the side of the RV or home or wherever, whatever is convenient at the particular setup that you'd be doing. But we're going to go ahead and close this up and put some power to it. And then go inside and put the inverter that goes from Ethernet to cable. We're going to take it from cable and go to Ethernet. And be able to get internet inside from this setup here from the outside by using the coax that's already set up from the factory in my RV here. Plenty of room for it all to fit. So let's put some power to this and go inside and see if we can get internet on the coax screw in connector next to a TV and see if this actually works. Now I'm going to take the coax and screw it into the connector outside on the RV which would be right over here. So let's get this box close enough so this cord will actually reach. So I'm going to sit this box and lay it right here. And we're going to come up to the coax connector which is right here on the RV. And I'm going to just simply just take the coax, take it, Attach it. It's like you're doing regular old television. Put that in there. Now let's go inside and see if we got actually internet. Because we have to plug the other one in, let it find each other, communicate, lock in, and then it will transfer data. So let's go see how quick it actually syncs up and see what kind of speed we can actually get through this technology. All right, let's get the receiver. Let's make some room so we can actually set our laptop up here. Let's get the other receiver. Here's the receiver right here, Ethernet in that end, coax on that end. So we're going to take some coax, just a short little piece. If you already got a TV that's tied to antenna or anything like that in an RV, you can get a splitter and put it right here. So both of them would be able to plug back in. We're going to screw this into here. And we're just going to simply attach it to the inverter mocha. Let's see. Get that thread started. Okay. We're going to take the power supply. Plug it in. Then we're going to see if it will connect. We have power light, then we have network light, then we have the light that communicating the data. So we're going to plug it in, see if they will link up with each other. You see one light, which is the power light, then the network starts flashing orange and it found it it just sends out a signal waits for a signal to come back it says it found the other one which is outside in the box so let's see if it actually will transfer data let's get the laptop let's 
set up the laptop here. Let's get an ethernet cord. Let's be sure the Wi-Fi and all that is off. Okay, let's see. Let's check the Wi-Fi. Okay, turn Wi-Fi off. Now we have no Wi-Fi. So we'll plug the Ethernet cord in here. Then we're going to take this Ethernet cord and plug it into the inverter here. Let's see if the other light will come on. You see you got two lights. Now you got communication. So let's go to Wi-Fi man.com and see what we have. See what kind of speed it will actually transfer. The maximum these are supposed to do is 100 megabits per second because I have a 200 connection here in the RV. So it's going to be roughly 95 to 100 is what it's going to do. So we've got 9286. Let's do it again. And I probably can get even more than that, you know, up closer to 95 if I actually took the CPE and point it toward the AP. It's just laying on the ground. But it's still picking it up. But you see that it, it is actually transferring data. And this is how you get internet. That's how you get internet into a home that already has coax cable run through the home structure of business RV like this here or a motel. Always wondering how can you get internet in a hotel and there's no internet wires ran and it would be very difficult to actually run the ethernet wires to each every room but it's already got coax ran all you have to do is put one of these receivers in the room and then go to the the other end of the cables wherever they terminate at and plug in the other one until you figure out which one it will link up with and hopefully one of them will link up if not then you have to troubleshoot figure out where the other end of it is now of course putting splitters in the system will degrade it to a point depends on which splitters you use but in a home usually you're going to put one of these on a single line outside that goes to a termination uh, to a certain room in a home so there's probably not going to be many if any splitters unless it goes up in the attic and somebody has done a lot of splitting but usually when they ran coax cable usually it's from a room all the way to the outside each one but if somebody added coax to another room because the builder didn't put one in every room then yeah you're probably gonna have splitters but I've seen it where this particular uh, device will go through four different splitters again depends on what splitters you're using there are splitters that's designed for this technology Look in the description and I'll list the devices that I've used here where you can actually purchase yours if this would help us solve a problem of getting internet into a structure rather you run a WISP or you just want to get internet from one location to another 
location in your home. You can put one of these behind your TV where your router comes in your home, plug it into the cable outlet, put this one in a bedroom upstairs and then go outside and find the coax cable that goes from the living room where the cable is, you know, the internet router is and find the one that goes to the bedroom and put a barrel connector together so it will send it from downstairs to upstairs. So many different applications, setups that you can actually use this for. Hopefully this helps somebody that needs to get internet into a structure or from one location to another in a structure without actually have to run ethernet wires. If 100 megabits, you know, 7,500 megabits is all you need in that location, then this will work. I probably, like I said, I probably will get closer to 100 if I actually go out there and take the CPE and actually point it up to the AP. It's just laying on the ground, so the AP is up here and it's laying on the ground and it's pointing towards the RV, which is, you know, not ideal whatsoever, but it, it, it works, as you can see. If you got any questions about this, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as quick as possible. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and when you hit the subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put up more videos like this.